What's up everyone? My name's Nick Ark. Welcome back to Dungeon Warfare Alpha Build 2. And I'm going to attempt the arena level again because last time I wasn't able to figure it out. And I am going to be 100% honest, I've been testing this for multiple, multiple hours and I still haven't beat it. But last night I spoke to GrowQuest and here's to hoping that this strategy works. What he suggested to me is that I put three demon spawners and I spawn demons. And a fun fact about demon spawners is you can't see their recharge, but they are actually recharging before setup and you're able to set them down your two demons. So I have six demons here now at the beginning and GrowQuest says that is intentional. So I'm going to start out with the six demon Thing and hope that this goes well. It's still a little bit hard for me to tell if one of my demons has died, so I'm gonna occasionally slow it down so I can um, so I can check and see if any of my demons have died. This is an issue that I've run into with this type of strategy that uh, some of them sit in the back and stop moving up to attack, so my damage output isn't as good as it could be. But I'm trying to work around that a little bit. Okay, one of my demons died. He is trying to get away. Get back here. Yep, see, he's... This is the issue that I run into, and it's just that my demons get overwhelmed very early. And it's something that I'm still trying to work out. I... <laughs> like I said, I've tried this a few times. And for whatever reason, I'm just like, screw it, I may as well record it and see if I get it on camera. Because if I get it off camera and then I try to do it and it's... If it's on camera and I don't do it, I'm going to be really upset. So just do it all on camera. And here's my six demon strategy again. Hoping it works out this time. This is a tough level. If there were a level that I were to complain about, it would honestly probably be this level. But I have been told that any really tough levels might just be optional. And, you know, a more linear progression may be, uh, maybe slightly easier than it is now. It's still, like I said, many, many times before, very early access, so difficulty, uh, what am I trying to say here? The difficulty isn't set in stone. They are definitely still going to be working on, you know, bringing it down or bringing it up or really anything to make the game better in the long run. Let's help out a little bit here, or not. I'm trying to make it so that they kind of come back from there. Here we go. And I'm gonna get a dart trap to help, because I want this to be my line of uh, battle. I... yeah, let's get another dart trap. If this works, I'm going to be astonished because I have tried and 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 tried and, tried and no matter what I do, I cannot get it. Like, around here is where I start to just get overwhelmed and people start breaking free. As you can kind of tell here, I'm having issues keeping them all in check. Uh, definitely have to use the snare traps to aid them in their fight, but it's really hard to aim the snare traps properly to get who you want. And here we're gonna have a massive breakthrough, and hopefully I put up enough snares to catch all of these. I don't think I did. No, I, I certainly did not. Um, I am going to show another strategy that I was kind of working on that 
ProQuest did not tell me about, and it has to do with not fighting up here. It's all about placing a barrier here, and you'll see the line comes down and to the right. And so my logic is if I put a dart trap there and a dart trap there, then things should be good. And I'm going to put a dart trap or a snare there because this is going to be an actual attempt. And you'll notice that some of them go down the left side despite the right arrow, despite it only showing a right arrow. Because this looks like it should work pretty well, right? But some of them do do that, which I had not anticipated in the slightest. And I couldn't, I can't figure out how to make them not do that with the limited amount of money that I have. Because this part works perfectly. But if too many, like, adventurers go down the left, and even there, like, adventurers, they get through. <laughs> so, that's another strategy I've worked on, and it just hasn't worked out, and... Really, it's just tough. It's a lot of me just trying my best to figure out, like, can I get them in a choke point here where they're all squeezed in here and my people are fighting right there? Or is that not possible? I don't know. I keep trying and trying and trying. <laughs> and I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna. I'm trying my best to not say, oh, let's just do it at 19 lives, and that's fine. No, I want to do this life without losing a life. GrowQuest has told me it's possible, and I believe him. Alright, one of my demons is gonna die. Let's replace him. See, these two, I don't like when they don't aggro onto the people that they are supposed to. We're gonna keep trying, though. You're certainly gonna keep trying. You can definitely tell they are all piled in here. And I haven't tried this strategy yet, either, of piling them all in. Alright, so warriors are coming. I'm going to snap some of those. Yeah, there we go. And kings are coming, so I want to snap some of those for sure. And get more... This is... It's looking like it might work. Let's snap a king. Alright, and as soon as I have the money, I am going to get spike traps. Probably right here. Because they do hit your own demons, that is 100% intentional. Because I was confused about that. They, it is intentional that they can hit your own demons. So, you have to be really careful about that. But darts will not hit your own demons. I should also make sure I say that. Darts will not hit your demons. I'm... Like, I'm not sure if they're pushing through or not. I... that may have been a mistake. I'm not sure if this is hitting my demons or not. Um... I'm even going to get another demon spawner just to have a little bit more insurance. But this is the best I've done. I'm... I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't done this good. Oh, don't step on the... don't step on the spikes! It, there's definitely a fine balance of uh, placing traps, but also not letting your demons step on the spikes. King, warrior, marksman... This is going well. I... If this is the thing that I've been missing, then I feel kinda silly. I'm snapping a priest, because if they are healing, then they are not dying. Wise words to live by in video games. If they are healing, they are not dying. Trademark. C. Blah blah blah. I'm actually... I'm pretty excited to see if this is going to be the winning strategy. If it is, it's not going to hold the same sweet victory feel because I... I did have to ask for help from 
you know, the game creator, which, ugh. It sucks when you have to do that, but. You know, we all get legitimately stuck sometimes. And like I said, it, I have, I did test for probably three or four hours on my own before I was like, dude, I need help. <laughs> I think we might do it. I think we're in the winning zone. You just have to be really careful. Yep, we got a bomb off, which does do, oh my gosh. Bombs that the dwarves carry do hurt the minions, or the adventurers, whatever you want to call them. So them blowing up early was very good. And I think, I think we may have done it. I think this is the strategy. Look at it in all of its beauty. Because that is amazing. We got the demon portal, hit our awesome button. I love that awesome button. And next one is Heroes Must Die, which unlocks the spring trap. I saw the spring trap in the uh, trailer, I saw it in the post, and I cannot wait to use the spring trap. This is Dungeon Warfare. Check it out on Congregate. Check it out on Steam Greenlight. Vote for it in, on Steam Greenlight. I'm stuttering and stammering on my words. I'm so excited that I beat that level. Ah, oh, that felt so good. I'm Nagark, and thank you for watching. Enjoy the outro. I think. Hey, thanks for watching my video. You should click one of the videos on the screen to see their playlist. There's literally hours of entertainment in each of them. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified of everything I create in the future, and you'll be the first to see it.